Here's something that's interesting. I, I reached out because we all have rapports with them. I'm like, did you know? And he was like, I nope. had, had no idea. No idea. So, so talk to me about who else had no idea. You well, said a f funny story about Spolstra. Eric Spolstra had yeah. no idea. Now, Eric and Dwayne obviously go way back. Eric's been with the organization for 20-plus years. He was Dwayne's shooting coach when mm -hmm. he was drafted before he became an assistant and the head coach. So Spo walks into Pat Riley's office, you know, at, talking to him about the trade deadline. He's like, what are we going to do? And he's like, well, Pat's like, well, you know, we got a deal for Luke, as in Babbitt, who they're going to bring back, another player they had recently, and Dwayne. And Spo turns back around, goes towards the door. He's getting back to go to his office. He's like, wait, Dwayne? Dwayne who? Yeah, which one? <laughs> what, what, what Dwayne are you talking yeah, about? And it was Dwayne Wade. So he was in shock, too. Like, okay. So Eric Spolstra didn't even know this was happening. All right, so put it in perspective for us. Uh, I saw online Dar Darren Ravel, our Darren Ravel, yeah. uh, tweeted that his the jersey sales are out of control. Right. His old jersey sales, mm -hmm. specifically, Dwayne Wade's. Does, uh, the resale, you said something about tickets were out of control as tickets well? Tickets are out of control. Um, they're at, on the secondary market right now, the nosebleed yeah. is going for like $110 right now. Those, t those tickets are about a $30 ticket. Wow, so yeah. it's fair to say that they missed him. Talk to me about growing up in Miami and having him back. Just the, the uh, sentimental value of Gary Wade coming home. He is the greatest professional athlete to play in South Florida sports history. Sure. And you're talking about him now rejoining forces again with the man who drafted him, who I believe is the most iconic coach slash personnel guy in South Florida sports history. So you have these two forces uniting again. This is the greatest day in South Florida in a long time. The greatest day? Since winning a championship. Oh, wow. Because you have these guys, these basically it's like your mom and dad fighting. And uh -huh. all of a sudden they got back together. Like you wouldn't wow. love that as a kid. Yes. Like everybody in South Florida right now is rejoicing because their guy is back. All right. And he's playing. And he's going to play. Now he's not going to start tonight. He's coming off the bench. He's coming off okay, the bench. But they get to see but him. That'll be good because you know what's going to happen? What? The crowd will roar when he We're stands excited. up. Yeah. Uh, he'd host the Greek Freak tonight. Uh, that is George Sedano with yes. the information. I appreciate it. David, back to you.